Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Annalise Zinkernagel. I'm an infectious disease specialist working at the University Hospital Zurich at the University of Zurich in Switzerland. And I'm also the president elect and secretary of ESCMIT. I'm really looking forward to this year's ECMIT, although unfortunately I will not be seeing you in person, but it will all be taking place virtually. One of the highlights for me at every ECMID are the Young Investigator Awards. This year will be even more special because we have the young investigators that were awarded the prize from last year as well as this year. So it will be a rainbow of different aspects of up and promising young scientists and physicians. I would like to walk you through the program and let me already announce this will be taking place on the 9th of July from 1.15 to 2.45. So stay tuned. And it's almost as if we had a vision because if I look at the Young Investigator Awards we had awarded for 2020, the first one is Norbert Party from Philadelphia, United States. And he is actually getting the award for developing a new vaccine class using nucleoside modified mRNA. So it will be very timely. His talk, I'm looking forward to it very much. The second awardee of 2020 is Paolo Miotto from Milan, Italy, moving towards precision medicine for tuberculosis. Tuberculosis clearly one of our top priorities. It has just been topped by COVID number wise, but we will be going back to the hit list probably soon again. The third awardee is Nicola Buetti from Geneva, Switzerland. He will be talking about from national epidemiology for the bedside of the patient, expanding our knowledge of intravascular catheter related bloodstream infections. Then the awardees of 2021 is Jason Trubiano from Victoria, Australia. He will be talking about the emerging role of anti antibiotic allergy programs in antimicrobial stewardship. And to close the circle of timeliness, Marit van Dils from Amsterdam, the Netherlands will be talking about lessons learned from antibodies against SARS-CoV-2. There's still a lot to be learned on this topic and I'm really looking forward to the program. Please join us um, and applaud to the young scientists. And then one another topic I'm also looking forward is the two hour symposium on pathways to chronicity mechanisms and evolution of resistance of antibiotic resistance. This is absolutely an emerging and huge problem. We have many chronic infections and we've seen that treating these chronic infections may also result in resistance development. So that will be another topic uh, and timely session and I'm looking forward to interacting with all of you and as many as possible virtually during this ECMID and then next year again hopefully live. Take care and stay tuned. Bye-bye.